Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are all doing super well. I'm gonna start a vlog today because there's a couple things I wanted to share. Lots of random bits actually. Um, I'm actually currently in my accessories room. It's like my favorite place to be in all the time, but especially this time of year because this room becomes kind of like my little Santa's workshop kind of thing. So I've got a bunch of presents laid out and this is looking like a lot more um, toned down than how it, how it was before when I had like everyone's gifts like all my friends and Conrad's and Jacob's because um, the well Conrad's and Jacob's are all by the tree now this is only this is all Conrad's family um, most of my gifts that uh, for my friends I've already shipped out or already given to them um, as in like ship out to whichever country they need to go to basically um, and then here I have a couple more to give to some London friends and then at the back we have some stuff for the porters and this is how our tree is looking right now everything's wrapped up yes I got another little 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 treat for myself to put under the tree and actually keep under the tree but everything is filled up this is Conrad's stocking um, and Jacob's at the back. Some people were asking what a Christmas box is or Christmas Eve box when I post on Instagram. And the thing is like, I didn't know about any of this until I moved to the UK either. Like I didn't, this is not something that I've done um, growing up, but it's literally, I don't want to open it up. Well, maybe I will actually. I'll just tell Jacob not to <clears throat> watch this video because I wanted it to be a little surprise. Um, I got us all matching PJs a little Christmas Eve mug, Christmas movie mug, and then a little Kinder Surprise to have for um, our hot chocolates, basically. There's also matching pants somewhere underneath there. But yeah, we just found these um, pajamas, which I don't really want to take out right now. Um, at Sainsbury's, I literally have been buying all my pajamas at Sainsbury's recently. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought it was really cute. So yeah, Christmas Eve box is just like, we'll put face masks in there too, actually. It's just um, a little box of stuff that we can use during Christmas Eve to be cozy and cuddly and warm and stuff. Speaking of cuddly and warm, I actually got these the other day with Joelle. I got us matching <laughs> slippers and that, like literally my favorite things to wear around the house now. I think they're so cute and they look super cute by the Christmas tree. It's from Tiger, by the way. Anyways, it's actually much cooler in here than it is out there because there's like a lot more window out there. Whew. Anyways, so yeah, I'm really happy with how the presents have turned out this year, by the way, guys. I think they are all super cute. And this year, I really, really tried to like repurpose a lot of things. So like a lot of the gift bags are like reused from last year. This is like one that I received last year from a friend. I think it's like smart to not write anything on these so you can continue reusing these basically. So yeah, and then this, as well as this basket back here actually, this was from the Dior gift that I got a couple weeks ago. It was like filled with like Italian goods. <laughs> um, and so I just like, yeah, repurposed the basket to put some presents in and then the sack to put more presents in. I mean, obviously all the presents are wrapped up in there, but I thought it was just like really cute to have a massive sack of presents. <laughs> also in case anyone wonders, of course I have presents for my Asia fam as well, but they're not wrapped up. They're just chilling in here. Got some stuff for my mom. Um, I got a really beautiful Dior t-shirt for her too, which I actually want to steal or borrow. <laughs> Um, cause it's got horses on it and I got it cause my, my dad's a horse in a Chinese zodiac. Anyway, so yeah, just a bunch of presents for Vietnam there or Taiwan. Okay, so I've kind of just piled here some of the new in stuff that I want to share with you guys. This, first of all, how beautiful is this packaging? Um, it's a Fornicetti Panettone cake. Um, I don't want to open it quite yet just because, um, <clears throat> one of them is a gift. The other one I am keeping, but annoyingly, um, they kind of messed up my order and only sent one out. So I am waiting for the other one. So I just want to make sure before I open this that I receive the other one. But yeah, look how beautiful. This makes the most beautiful gift, I think, because there's something yummy inside and then this box is just something to keep 
for the home. Very, very pretty. And then over here, I know it's kind of like really hard to see everything because it's so colorful and this bed is so colorful. <laughs> There's a lot of pattern going on in here. But um, don't worry, I'm putting it on to show you guys. But yeah, honestly, Bister Village is so freaking good to buy presents because the deals are incredible. Like, so, so, so good. The only thing is, it's just dangerous to go shopping for Christmas presents at Bister Village because you end up shopping for yourself as well. <laughs> so I got myself a couple of things. Um, this is a pair of Aquazura flat shoes. I believe these are like, oh no, these are my second pair of Aquazuras. Um, but these are my first pair of flats. I don't actually like spending money on flat shoes, especially when it's like got lots of bedazzlement because usually that just means it's more expensive obviously and if it's more expensive with bedazzlement I just prefer getting the heeled version I think it's prettier but um, since this was at Bister and it was at, on an incredible uh, deal I believe it was like wait is the price still on here yes it was originally 670 um, it went down to 402 but I got I paid 250 for it it's not focusing there we go 250 um, which I think is a great deal yeah I just thought this would be the perfect opportunity to buy a pair of bedazzled flat shoes and save on it because, you know, I just, like I said, wouldn't fork over the money for it. If it were full price, I'd rather buy heels. <laughs> um, but yeah, flat shoes are definitely a staple and really necessary, especially um, if I'm just like doing a bit more walking in the evening time but still want to be dressy kind of thing. So I love these. these had, they had them, sorry, in pink and maybe black as well, but I loved the blue. So pretty. I also got myself a pair of Gucci Sunnies. I love these so much. I actually picked out two pairs. The other pair is like the dazzled orange. It's amazing. But Conrad insisted on buying that for me for Christmas. So that one's under the Christmas tree, but I can show this one. This is the black one. I mean, the orange one is a totally different shape too, but it's just got the rhinestones as well. This one's a black with the Gucci logo and then the rhinestones all over it. I just think they are so cool. I've already taken the price off because I've been wearing it, but it's really not going to be good for this outfit. <laughs> but I believe this was like around 225 down from like, again, I don't know. Actually, I didn't even check <laughs> what price it was um, originally, but I know I paid around 225 Okay, so this next accessory I feel like is going to be a love-hate thing. I feel like more people will hate it than love it. You guys are like, what the F is it, right? It's it's a little Baker Boy hat. <laughs> they had this in pink, and they had it in, ooh, pink. Oh, and yellow, and this one. I did like the idea of yellow, but it looked a bit dirty. Like, I don't know, it just looked dirty. So I went with the blue one. This is by Prada, by the way. And like, again, like I said, this is all from Bista Village, is what I'm showing you right now. And this hat, oh my gosh, wait, let me get two. Okay, so this is what the hat looks like on me, and I know this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I absolutely love this massive, like, 70s vibes. I just love this puffiness. I love how warm it's keeping me, and yeah, it's just super cozy. I really, really like it. It's like a little, like, a little cow on my head. <laughs> and the last accessory that I got... This from Gucci. I saw this hat and fell in love with the color. And I was actually wearing like all white that day to Bister. And I put this on. I just like love the outfit. Actually, we wore the outfit. But look how gorgeous the color of this hat is. It is in a size medium, which is big for me because I am a size small for hats. But I could not resist this hat and they only had medium left and I didn't mind like the little oversizedness. I think it still works. Um, it doesn't fly off my head or anything. But yeah, I love this hat. Um, I love wearing red orange lipstick with it. And I love the detailing, the little like weaving going on at the top. The tiny little bow with like the little like very subtle Gucci. And I've been wearing like orange lipstick with this hat and I'm just obsessed with the color. And yeah, it's just brightening up the gloomy. Actually, today's not so gloomy, like I said, but um, it's it brightens up any gloomy, rainy London day. <laughs> Here's a close-up of the weaving around the hat. How pretty. Um, and then the little, well, actually, it's not really a bow. It's more like a crossover. With a little Gucci. 
So pretty. And then I'll also show you the Prada one up close. Super cozy and fluffy and just super cuddly. <laughs> Love this. We also stopped in Versace at Bristol Village and I picked up this bomber jacket, which I am obsessed with. Um, it was also on a really, really crazy, really good deal. Um, and I actually, honestly, when it comes to Bisto, you like need to ask questions because they don't make it very clear when there's like an extra sale off thing. So this one was like 500 something, I can't remember at the moment. Um, and I thought that was like the final price. I was like, okay, that's a good deal, but not good enough kind of thing. But then I overheard a family who was asking the sales associate how much the things on the rack was. And they said, and then I overheard the lady say that it's actually 50% off the price on the tag. So I was like, what the heck? <laughs> so I snatched this bomber jacket up immediately because it was just too good of a deal as well. But I really, really love this print. It's like super colorful, super fun, lots of pattern, very me. <laughs> also, I did get this t-shirt at Versace at Bister Village. Um, I didn't even know that they did a freaking Disney collab, so I was really shocked and also really happy that I saw it at Bister anyway. So I got um, a really good discount on it. I think this one was like 155 pounds. Um, I don't know how much it would have been retail though. Oh, here we go, 155 and the retail price was 880. Are you kidding me with this price? Here's the front and then here is the back. Cinderella. I obviously love all the bedazzlement. <laughs> um, and then the last thing I got at Bister Village for myself was this. And this is going to be like, again, a love-hate thing. <laughs> um, this is from Gucci and this is going to be my Christmas Day outfit. I saw this and I was like, first of all, I didn't have an outfit for Christmas Day. Um, not, like, not that we're doing anything. We're keeping it very low-key. Like I said, it's just going to be um, myself, Conrad, and Jacob. So we're staying in most of the day, just cooking a nice meal, but I just thought this would be the most perfect um, Christmas little outfit because it's got the fluffy green, the red. There is a little pig on here, a little flying pig. <laughs> um, and I love the buttons on this as well. I mean, this is just not something you would wear outside of Christmas, I think. I don't know. At least I wouldn't. I got this in a size medium. Um, they did have a small, but I wanted it to fit more like a dress. So I actually won't try this on today um, for this vlog just because I want to like be able to put the full outfit, the full vibe together and like share my whole look um, on Christmas Day. Well, I'll, I'll be vlogging it <laughs> and then sharing it. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys um, what I'm wearing. Sorry, it's a little dark in here, guys, but I wanted to also show you guys the little seahorse that I got at Mr. Village the other day as well. Um, I forgot because I had it hanging on my bag already, so I didn't have it in the other room. But how cute is this seahorse? These charms in general are like my favorite charms from Loewe. I think they're so cute. Of course, I love the elephants too. But yeah, I have a little croissant there, and then I have a shell here, which was actually a gift from Plum Tree on Instagram. How cute is it on my little bucket bag or basket bag? So cute. I have to like hook it through there because there's nowhere else to hook it through, but I don't mind. It's just so perfect. Speaking of deals, these are like my last two deals of the month. Um, I got, I went to a private sale. Oh, actually that's a lie. Wait, let me show you guys this dress real quickly first. I showed it on Instagram. I have it hanging here because I'm obsessed with it. Um, this is like my... Black Friday score. It's the only thing that I bought that I bought um, during Black Friday sale. So I got a really good deal off this dress. Basically, it's by Victor and Rolf. Um, Victor and Rolf Tool. And I just honestly wanted something from this iconic collection because it's just super cool. This one says, "I am not paid to wear this dress." I know, clown face, right? But the only other option that I had was no photos, please. <laughs> and that's not necessarily true with me. Whereas this is a true statement for me. So I just was like, you know what, I'll just go with this one. I also like the shape of this dress better than the other one. Um, honestly, I just don't know where to wear it to. <laughs> I have nowhere to go. But I'm thinking maybe for New Year's, um, 
weekend we're not doing very much we have no plans but i basically just took advantage of a really really freaking good sale because i would never pay pay, pay i would never pay full price for that dress but back to this um i got two items from the sale something from off-white um this is actually my first off-white anything um and then something from attico so again this is an earring it's like just a single earring kind of thing i'm planning on having my hair up and i just think this will be such a cool like one one off staple earring kind of thing so yeah it's a studded earring and then um the shoes that i got the box is a little bit <laughs> ruined but i got myself these black four riding boots <laughs> i am obsessed with wearing like chunky tall boots recently especially in the uk it's so cold and rainy and all we do is oh well, not anymore recently but before when we were on lockdown all we do is go for walks and um, my shoes get super dirty and i have a couple really nice white ones that I've just kept getting dirty obviously we clean it but I thought getting a black pair would be good as well I don't own like black rubber boots or anything so these ones I thought were a good addition and they were again on a really good sale I paid like 125 for these guys I actually think these are so cute these like labelings <laughs> um, and then of course the very recognizable tag thing at the back I don't know. I don't know very much about off-white guys. I, not an off-white gal. Um, although my dad's um, factory have made like some off-white collaborations, so I do, I have seen some of their stuff there. But yeah, look, this is so freaking cool! I can't wait to wear them. So I have two bits here. This has a present, and then this is the current free magazine that you can get Eloeve. I got an extra one for Kyle. <laughs> but in here, I picked up something the other day that I am so freaking excited about. Actually, I also just remembered Alex at Loewe also very kindly gifted a Christmas gift. Oh my gosh, there's even a card. I didn't see that. Oh my goodness. Okay. So he's shown me what the christmas gift is already because he kind of explained what it is um there's a little box of chocolate or caramel caramellos such pretty packaging um so let me just open this up how cute are these little tags from the Ken Price collection. I just absolutely love this yellow, by the way. I mean, just this color situation is making me really happy. Um, so this is like super random, but this is like right up my alley. I love random things like this. There's a little explanation. J.W. Anderson, oh my goodness, look at this wrapping paper, this tissue paper. So apparently this is like a little puzzle. So, you have all these little pieces here that you can't actually glue on, or they're like sticky. But I don't think I actually want to like permanently stick any of these. I like the idea that you can like mix it around and do your thing. Yeah, so yeah, how random is this? But I just think this is so thought. I love this. It's like interactive. I love that the way I've always does like fun stuff. Even their events are not just like going to see what's new and like they they always organize some fun crafty activity for us to do um this is just such a cute idea and voila it's not done perfectly i haven't stuck everything down properly but what a cute little idea wow cute what a beautiful card I want to see what the caramellos look like. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I love this packaging. What is this? This is so cute. I did not expect this packaging. I love it. I cannot wait to try these. Um, so yeah, thank you so, so, so much, Alex, for thinking of me and for putting me on the list for this gift. I am obsessed. So... 
what I got from Loewe is not actually from Ken Price collection. Um, as much as I love the colors and like the vibe of this collection, the actual illustration, like I don't know, none of the actual pieces or ready to wear pieces really spoke to me or the accessories really. Um, so yeah, I didn't really see anything from this collection that I wanted. However, I did see this really adorable freaking cardigan. This is totally me, guys. Oh my goodness, look how cute! It's a really massive oversized cardigan. By the way, guys, I'm so sorry if you guys hear this banging. It's so frustrating. They've been like, I don't know, there's some construction going on somewhere outside upstairs, somewhere. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. But anyways, excuse the banging noises in the background. But um, so yeah, here's the front. Don't worry, guys, I'll put this on as well. And then here is the back. Also really, really pretty. Um... I'm going to pretty much live in this this winter because um, this looks and feels super, super warm and cozy. Whew, guys, I am melting. It's so hot, um, but I don't want to take my jacket off because it makes my outfit. <laughs> but yeah, I just finished packing. We're going to Wales this afternoon for a little bit. Um, and yeah, before I went, I wanted, because I'm going to spend... The driving time to edit hopefully so I wanted to film a quick update about my Birkin before I start editing because I know I filmed a segment about my plans for this bag um, I had mentioned when I first revealed this bag that I want to eventually get an illustration painted on it and so I have been working on that um, with Hugo who which I will explain which I would have explained already um, in that segment of my plans for this bag. But anyways, this part, I just want to talk about a quick update. Um, so I bought this from Design Exchange if you guys didn't um, see from my previous video. I know that they are a very reputable um, company, but I decided to also get it uh, authenticated by a third party. So I went to Handbag Clinic, which is down the road and got it authenticated. Sorry, the lighting changed, so I had to quickly go turn on some lights. But um, what was I saying? So yeah, I got this authenticated um, at Handbag Clinic and it cost around 60 to 65 pounds. Um, and they did tell me it would take a week to 10 days to do. However, it took a little over a month for them to get my bag back and a lot of me chasing. I completely understand the time that we're in and that it's you know everything's slowing down and everyone's having a hard time i totally understand that but i wish they would just communicate with me if, if they had just told me like hi we're not able to get it done in time it's going to be pushed another two weeks but it's just the fact that they didn't say anything um anyways i was like okay fine so it took like a little over a month to get it authenticated came back everything's fine then i actually decided to use them to help me kind of retouch up the bag a little bit. I know that a lot of people recommended me to go through Hermes themselves, um, and I considered it, but I was just thinking like, it's gonna take so long, they're gonna send my bag off, I don't even know where I'm gonna be when my bag is ready, whether I'm still gonna be here or in Asia. Um, also, I'm not gonna lie, a part of me just like, didn't wanna bring like this into Hermes. If I had bought the bag at Hermes, then I would feel better bringing it in to get it fixed. But this is like bought like consignment. So it just like for me feels weird to bring into Hermes, but everyone's different. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I went with handbag clinic route and the actual job that they've done to the bag is actually incredible. So I'm just showing you guys the corners because the corners had the most wear and it is looking amazing. Um, so, I mean, the most wear of this bag is, as you can see, like the shape. Micro scratches at the back here as well, which I've just, I just think they just did a really, really good job with fixing up. Um, the only things that they couldn't get to were some marks on the handle. So there was this mark here. Um, there was another one, I feel like. Oh, yeah. Back here, there's a couple tiny scratches there. 
Um, but the reason that they, they didn't get to that, well, they could have. They asked me if I, if I wanted um, to touch that bit up, but they, because they used some kind of like spraying mechanism, it would have covered up my, my stitching, the, the exposed white stitching, which I did not want to get covered up. So I told them to leave that. I didn't mind. It's just a little mark. Plus, I bought these Twillies from Selfridges a couple weeks ago, um, so I can use it to cover up anything that's on the handles. But I absolutely freaking love the toilet that I chose for this bag. I think it's so me, it's so perfect. Luckily, I got Jacob to help me tie on the twillies because I wouldn't have a clue. Um, actually, I tried and it just looked really, really bad. So I'm glad that he knows what he's doing. <laughs> I also love that it perfectly says like Hermes here. And that's a really cute touch. Um, but yeah, I just love the twilly match with this bag. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a close-up update on like what the bag looks like now before I talk about my plans for it. So honestly, my review on the actual touch-up job that they've done is just really, really good. It's better than I thought it would be. Like I remember when they brought it out, I like gasped because I was like, especially at the back, because I was like so sure it was like gonna be impossible to take off, like not take off, but like to hide the micro scratches, which was already like hard to see to begin with, not too obvious, but now it's like even more I mean, I can still see it, but I don't think it is going to be obvious to most people, especially if you see it in person. Um, so yeah, they did a really good job with the touch-up. However, oh yeah, and the price was also really insanely like affordable, or in my opinion, really good. It was like 165 pounds or something, like definitely under 200. Um, but anyways, the problem was, again, it took them double the amount of time that they said that they would get it done. Um, like I said, I totally understand everyone is super busy at the moment. However, it's just the communicating part. I wish that they would email me and say, sorry, it's going to be another month late. <laughs> um, instead of just not saying anything, I had to chase like multiple times just to get an update, just to like make sure it's just like hasn't gone missing. And actually at one point, um, one of the days when I called in, I mean, okay, I'm not that annoying. I only called in twice to, to double check on it within like the span of like, um, two months and a half but um and they told me it would be done within like less than a month like like two to oh my God, i can't remember two weeks to four weeks or something like that but anyways so i called in twice and then one of the times um the lady said she couldn't find my she couldn't find my bag or couldn't find me in the system and that kind of made me worried i was like okay like what's going on here um but anyway, it's all good. <laughs> she found it. Um, well, actually, another lady helped, and she found it, and I was all fine in the end, and I got my bag back. But yeah, so Handbag Clinic. clinic. Um, by the way, I just want to make it clear, Handbag Clinic is separate to Handbag Exchange. I bought this bag at Handbag Exchange, but I got it ref like re re refreshed um, at Handbag Clinic, which is, they're both on the same room. But yeah, so Handbag Clinic, honestly, the actual you know job that they've done is really, really good, but... I don't know if I would go back to handbag clinic. Um, maybe if like out of COVID, they like are a lot better and a lot more efficient, a lot more like better at communicating. So maybe, you know, at when we're more into the calms of COVID, um, I do have a couple other bags I want to get fixed as well. Like just little things here and there. I might give them another chance. We'll see. Um, but doesn't matter. Right now I am moving forward. It's time to decide what to get painted. I haven't actually decided when I'll get it painted because like I said, I want to keep it like this for a tiny little bit just to use, um, but I am so freaking excited for the illustration. I've been talking to Hugo, who is um, an illustrator and a costume designer in France or studying to be a costume designer in France. Um, yeah, he follows my, he follows, uh, he follows my social platforms and we started chatting and he's honestly super talented and super sweet and when he saw my video about um, the Birkin and wanting to potentially get something painted on it, he actually reached out to me and said he'd be happy to um, kind of sketch out the ideas on paper for me so that I can have an idea of what the bag would look like with this illustration on before I get, go ahead and like get it painted. I actually did ask him if he'd be willing to paint the bag as well. <laughs> Obviously I'd pay him for it but he passed and said that um he's not confident enough which is totally fine i totally get it i wouldn't want to paint on anyone's birkin either but so basically i gave hugo three different themes or ideas and he did like the hard part he figured out the layout figured out the actual like you know image of everything so 
Um, I'm gonna pop up his illustration while I talk about them, but I will mostly talk about the design that we actually decided on. Um, or yeah, so I'll just touch on the others. The first one was a Sanrio themed. I thought it was a Sanrio theme in the bathtub. Um, I really want. I wanted like. Hello Kitty in it, I wanted my melody and I wanted Zoo which is in an elephant character in Sanrio um, and yeah I just wanted them to be like in a bubble bath with like you know I thought it'd be really cute to have like a yellow rubber ducky and I specifically wanted them in a bathtub because I personally love 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 taking baths I take more baths than I do showers I take like five six baths a week but we passed on that the first round because I was like okay it's a little bit I don't know like I love Hello Kitty and I still like and like my melody and all that stuff and I still buy their stuff but it's it's, it's on a freaking Birkin like I, I this is like there forever <laughs> I need I need to like think about it also I think like maybe with like a little pink one like Hello Kitty would be so cute on a little pink baby pink one anyways so I was like okay I'll put that one the idea aside second idea um I couldn't this one was hard the second and third idea I we both had a, or I had a hard time deciding between um, and the one that we didn't end up go with was basically I wanted to deck an elephant completely completely accessorized with Hermes like products. Um, I got this idea off of a, a painting that I saw of like um, two monkeys holding Chanel bags and I thought it was really cute. So I wanted like a cute little elephant like so you'll see I'll, p I'll post a picture of what Hugo drew out like he's got she's got like a Birkin hanging off the nose and like a Kelly from the tail and um, I wanted him to draw like loads of piercings on her. He, she, she originally had like one piercing, but because I have loads of piercings, I think I have like 12, I wanted her to be like decked out with like um, earrings as well. I also got him to draw the elephant sitting on top of the Hermes blanket because the Hermes blanket is actually like the first Hermes product I've ever um, been given for my mom. My mom, um, I've had that blanket for ages. I think like since high school. It was in my like previous apartments in back in Hanoi. So yeah, it's definitely from high school. Um, so yeah, I've had it for ages and it's just like the kind of, I don't know, I just wanted to like add the elements that like, you know, is me in it. And then the last idea, which is actually the idea that we decided to go with, is a beach themed one, focusing on also like fun color beach umbrellas, because I've definitely mentioned that before. I love beach umbrellas. Um, Hugo came up with the idea of having like the mom at the front and the little ba uh, the little boy, not baby, the boy at the back, the little kid at the back on like a floaty with like a beach ball and then the mom's tanning at the front because I love tanning. It's like the only thing I really do at the beach to be fair um, besides collecting shells which yep there are shells in it as well and I even took a photo of my tattoo of a beach that I have on my thigh or on my hip um, and I sent that to him and he took parts of that to inspire him for the beach image as well so yeah it's a couple of the shells I have on my ta um, on my tattoo as well and I asked him to draw them with like cute Hermes um, swimwear which is really sweet and there's like the um, around sandals next and the garden party I just it's just too freaking cute and I love the way he did the waves the the water it just like makes it look like more clean and sleek and like you know it looks more expensive than like I don't know what I'm trying to say. And then here we have the final, oh my God, it's just, it's so good. You have to zoom up to really see how good this is. Um, I hope you guys can see all the detail. Like, can you just look at like, so we eventually added seagulls on the flap as well. Can you just like look at how amazing he did the seagulls? It's just so clean, but like so pretty. And like some, it is, it's very Hermes, isn't it? Um, I love the little whale tail. Again, look at the look at the the way he did the, the the water and the waves. I think that just looks really really nice and clean and cool. Something different than like drawing like you know those typical traditional like uh, waves. Um, the umbrella colors are perfect, and I love how you know because I sent him this photo, um, a photo of the Twillies as well. So he incorporated a lot of colors from this into the illustration as well, um, including like the pattern on the garden party bag like come on I think there's like a little leopard there which there's a little leopard here too freaking cute i'm just so obsessed the little boy at the back is adorable as well um i love that he i asked him i asked him to draw a little um goggle that he's holding a little goggle that was really cute so basically the second idea the one that i couldn't decide on i love that so i still love the illustration so much but i just feel like on a bag it looked like the beach theme would have looked better on a bag than the elephant one just in the corner um, I did mention that I would love to buy that illustration off him, so he has been working on that, which he sent me an update today, and I'm like, oh my god, this illustration is so cute. It's the cutest elephant. 
So this custom illustration by Hugo actually arrived after I filmed my previous clip, but I wanted to show you guys. Sorry for the glare. Um, oh my gosh, how cute is this freaking elephant? I love it. And I love that the elephant has um, the two beauty marks on the eye and nose, just like me. <laughs> and then the little mini Kelly. Um, hanging off the tail so adorable that about wraps up my video guys before I go I did however want to announce my giveaway winner um, for my Louis Vuitton mini pochette accessoire the Christmas animation edition for this year um, I did announce the winner on my Instagram um, on the day I picked the random winner I just like got like a random generator and um, yeah, I announced it on Instagram already. So congratulations, Jennifer, for winning. Um, I've already sent it out. It's been like two, three days now um, that I've sent it. So I'm really hoping it gets to you before Christmas. And I hope you love it as much as I do um, and enjoy it. I also want to say thank you to everyone else who entered the giveaway. I am slowly but surely reading through all the comments. Um, and there's a lot. I mean, <laughs> maybe not a lot for like most people or some people, but for me, there's a lot of comments to look through. Um, so, and I'm having honestly the best time reading. It's super emotional. Some are super deep and some I relate with so much. It's it's like, a, it's like I can't read all the comments at once. I, I definitely have to take breaks in between because like, I don't know. It's just like a Pisces thing. Like, I really feel things. <laughs> I honestly couldn't explain it to you guys. I just am someone who, like, feel what other people feel. Um, and I can feel it. I'm just, like, really emotional <laughs> in general. Um, so, yeah, I'm honestly so happy for people who got married. Um, people who gave birth. Um, people who are healthy. People who weren't as healthy and got healthy. Um, people who got jobs, people who, you know, just honestly, really, really happy for everybody. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to end it now before I blabber on for too much longer. Um, leave any comments or future video suggestions you guys have down below. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. I would like to come and catch up with me again. And until my next video, I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.